you remember this video? I think if I've got my law right, this video was around the same time Brendan started to get really substantial amounts of hate. And it also was just around the time after You'd Be Surprised dropped. Because I want to actually, I want to go back in the archives anyway. And I want to find the episode that Brendan went on the Joe Rogan experience after you Be Surprised dropped. Because that was a funny one. Because Rogan did everything in that conversation not to say that your special was shit or to say it was good. He really kind of danced around it. It was kind of very evident that they both knew it wasn't well received. Um, so I want to find out and go through it. But this is a clip I found on the Friday Kids subreddit of them talking, you know, generally about hate. And Rogan is kind of trying to get Brendan to understand how hate works and receptions and whatever. And Brendan just doesn't get it. So it's a really funny clip. Let's just check this out. This is a really funny one from four years ago, or maybe more than four years ago. Um, this is, um, the title is Papa Joe admitting we're right. So big up the Friday Kids subreddit guys for uploading this. Let's check this out. Online, like you ever go to, you, you, you've you never read a comment? Like no, I'm, I've read comments before, but I don't read them does anymore it affect because you? of that. Did, did it affect you? It affected me when I first started being on the internet. But over the course of my being on the internet, I've learned how to not emotionally engage that with calluses. shit. Well, you just learn Social what that is. I, I know what people are. Like, if I've done something that was poor and it wasn't good and someone said that sucked, it burns. But you know why it burns? Because they're right. It's true. Because yeah. they're, they're right. Yeah. When that happens, that's, that's an opportunity to get better. That's what that is. That's an opportunity to look at yourself, to reassess. By the way, he's talking to Brendan here, but he just doesn't get it. Hey, if everyone says your comedy special is shit, maybe it was shit. Maybe, maybe. Again, we're not saying you this is a this is the thing people miss when the Brendan thing, which is something people fucking miss. You'd be surprised shouldn't define you. In life, I'm gonna sound like a fucking preacher here. Call of Duty X Palestine ex Bob Marley headed. <laughs> <laughs> and son, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> oh, fuck you, fuck you to hell, fuck you to hell and back. <laughs> I instantly got what you were saying there. I instantly, I read it, and then it kind of got the picture in my brain. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm never wearing this head wrap again. I'm never wearing this head wrap again. I'm never wearing this head wrap again you have to thank Assad for that you have to thank Assad Aziz I'm never wearing this head wrap again <sighs> god that's fucking hilarious um anyway as I was <laughs> cool <of demons. laughs> it's got a bit of a denim tears vibe to it as well isn't it? it's got a kind of a denim tears vibe to it as well oh anyway let's continue um the Rogan thing right sorry the you'd be surprised thing you be surprised should not define. You be surprised shouldn't define Brendan. It's just one special. Who cares, man? You fucked it. Okay, whatever. Your failures don't define you. It's how you fucking bounce back from them. So if you would have just bounced back and be like, you know what? That really wasn't it. But I was one year in. Watch me next time. Give me next time. Give me one more chance to impress you. Boom, then come back. You feel me? This guy's out here fucking trying to convince himself and the world that it was good. I still remember. Do you guys remember the period of you be surprised when he got that um, CBD company to send out that email? If you leave a good review on IMBD, you get like a discount code. Can you imagine that? How low you have to sink? How ref how like how fucking the Lulu you have to be to get a sponsor to do a special promo deal for you to incentivize people to write positive IMBD reviews like <sighs> start from scratch just look at it with fresh renewed vigor and understanding that the negative consequences of failing or doing poorly or you know just not putting up enough attention That's into something you're concentrating you, on <laughs> joe is i think joe's like to realize here this guy's a lost cause he's talking to him by talking around it in vague you know being vague but he's talking to him. He just doesn't notice. Look at look at Joe looking at him like this guy's a fucking redact. He still doesn't get it. 
What do you mean? Like lately, you're not. I'm, I'm sure. What's the last thing you did that you got negative? But it doesn't matter. I, that's how I looked at it. Gotcha. I mean, it's like fucking hell, Brendan. Brendan's sensing the tenses as well. He can sense. Brendan can sense Rogan's talking to him, but he's so redacted. He his brain can't. I, I don't know, I'm just I'm just happy, you know. I don't I didn't have a lot growing up. I think a lot of people in the stream chat can identify with that, right? Growing up and just having to fucking fight and claw for everything that you have. But one thing I'm happy about is just happy I won the gene lottery or I was brought up in a way where my brain didn't work that way. Like I didn't have the ability to like not take negative criticism and think it was an attack on my person or something. Because I don't know, that kind of narcissism brain, is it curable? It isn't really, in it? That that narcissism thing is not curable. You can't cure that shit. I'm sure you can't. Especially if... I think you can't cure narcissism, especially if you're successful in some way. Because Brendan is, right? He's still able to, like, feed his family, pay his bills by bitch basically talking into a microphone. How he does it is anyone's guess, but he does it. So because of that, your brain kind of tells you, yeah, you're as good as you think you are because look at what you're doing. You're doing something that a lot of people would wish they could do and you're doing it with fucking ease. Obviously, the reason why he's doing it is because he's friends with Rogan or this malarkey, you know, there's various qualifiers. But I wonder if narcissism is actually curable. I don't think it is. I think it's a weird curse that you have where your brain can't take in negative criticism. Your brain can't take accountability. You know, you always blame it on somebody else. It's always somebody else has fought for everything that goes wrong in your like you you like 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 um um Angela just said earlier, Jeremy, you know I, mean? I did everything right, I did nothing incorrect. <sighs> I'm thankful, man. I'm fucking thankful. But it doesn't matter. I, that's how I looked at it. I mean, gotcha. It's like, but that's one of the reasons why. Because I'm always tweaking it like that. And I'll have sets that are off. And a lot of the times the sets that are off because I'm experimenting with shit. I'm moving stuff around, you know. I'm, that I'm, doesn't matter, but though. it does. Why? You know, I don't like it. I don't like. You don't when like when people don't go. go. No, no, no. When I don't do well, I'm not. I'm not listening to what. I <sighs> Rogan is struggling to tell him, "Hey, have an internal fucking metric as to like what is a good and bad to you. Be your own worst critic." But Brendan can't even compute it. Like what? Like huh? You got paid though, right? You still drive that big car, right? It's like, oh, that's not the point. You just can't, <laughs> you can't figure it. Other people are saying, I'm my own worst critic. You have to. So, be. If, yeah. Yeah. So, no, Brendan, Brendan, exactly. Brendan, Rogan gave him that eyes roll lines. He doesn't know what that means. Rogan, Brendan just repeats those anecdotes. You have to be your worst critic. I'm never a fan of my own stuff. I don't watch all that stuff that all comedians say, but he doesn't actually live it, you know? Rogan is exasperated here. Ugh, this fucking guy. The bottom line is if they're wrong, like if someone says something and they're wrong, it's like, I don't care. Like, it just doesn't bother me if you say mean things and you're wrong. I don't care. But if you're right, I care. And exactly. the reason why I care is because I haven't done a good job. So I care more about what I've failed at than the person's opinions. Brenda still doesn't get it. He still doesn't fucking get it. He still, look, <laughs> that's his face. That's Brendan's face for the entire thing. So what? You take like personal responsibility for fucking things up. So what? If you make a mistake or if something bad happens, you just internalize it as your mistake so that you can deal with it because you're the only person that could change you and you can't change the circumstances around you. Huh? Let's actually see. Can you cure narcissism? I'm actually just curious. Can you cure narcissism? NPD cannot be cured. <laughs> it's like, I knew it. But it can be managed with therapy and, and medication. The goal of treatment is to help the person with NPD to learn how to recognize their own self-defeating behaviors. I think the only thing that cures nepotism, or sorry, narcissism, is like poverty. I think if you go broke, like if Brennan has, if Brennan loses everything, like I always, I always, whenever I see, whenever I see, whenever I see, whenever I see, yo, big up Brandon in the chat, big up Brandon, wild one, wild one, Brandon, big up fucking Brandon. Whenever I see Brendan's wife posted on the ins on the Reddit, you know the first thing I think about, I think to myself, how would she handle it? If they lost everything. Because I think Brendan would be quite resourceful. I think Brendan has learned enough or has probably been through enough fires. I think Brendan would probably be able to bounce back. But I wonder, how would Brendan Schwab's wife handle losing everything? Like if they had to like go down to zero. 
You had to sell the bags, sell the cars. You know, no more trips to Las Vegas with the girls to let to let your hair down. How would she handle it? <sighs> yeah, that's the one. Like, because I, 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 I think Brendan could actually be okay. I think he's been through enough fires that he could probably handle it pretty well. But that wife of his, whew, God damn. Um, bro, everyone has a little bit of every. Uh, Timo Zaki said everybody has a little bit of a trait of it. Yeah, you think so? Okay, of course not. Very, very. Therapy can help with narcissistic traits, but personality disorders are forever. Yeah. She would not be able to handle it well, I imagine. Exactly. She could sell the big wedding. <laughs> oh, Darsky the flow. Yeah. Look at that hit there. She could sell that wedding ring. Yeah, that big old wedding ring. Could you imagine if Brendan, that ring that he got her is fake? Oh, ho, ho, ho. imagine she has to sell everything and then you go to sell it and you realize the ring is fake whoa 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 um anyway moving on 